This is part five of our queries in databases, particularly in Microsoft Access, and we're going to be looking at some grouping in queries for this video. So let's look at this query that I've got here already done. I've got the results of this one. And yeah, you can see there is a married field that we that we put in our, our, our query. And there you can see it's married, and you can actually see we are going to group it by the married field. We only have two marrieds there, the, whether they are married or whether they're not. So we've grouped it according to the married field. And then what we have over here, we don't actually have a field called AVG of outstanding, if you remember correctly from our previous videos. We've got a field called outstanding, which is the amount of money that is outstanding by the different people. So what's this AVG of? Well, this is the average of the outstanding field for each group. So this is like an aggregate field. So we're finding like a summary of the outstanding field but based on each particular grouping. So there you can see the 7, 6, 8 value is basically telling me that's the average amount outstanding by all the groups that are married. And then the bottom value, the 802, is all the amount or the average amount outstanding by the people that are not married. So that's how we can create statistics or like basically groupings and we can group data together and get statistics on those different groupings. Here's another grouping that we can look at and in this case you can see that there is a division. So we've got the different divisions A, B and C and then we've also got married as part of the grouping. So in this case we've actually grouped it first by division and then by married. So we've got two groupings here and then over here I've got the paid field in an aggregate form so but I've got it twice because the one scenario is to find the min of paid and the other one is to find the max so basically I want to find the min and max paid for each group so how much is the lowest amount paid and how much is the most paid but for each group now when I mean by group because I've grouped it by two things you'll see like over here we have all the division A's that are married and all the division A's that are not married. So there you can see the, the minimum amount paid and the maximum amount paid by the A's that are married and the A's that are not married. And then we have the, the minimum amount paid and the maximum amount paid by the B's that are married and the B's that are not married. And so there we go. So we've grouped it by multiple groupings here. And we found an aggregate field on the same field, but different stats on that same field. So how do we do this in a query? So let's see if we can recreate those queries that we showed. So I'm going to go to create and we're going to create design and we're going to go to tables and select the data table. Okay. So in the first one, we get all the fields. So we wanted if they were married or not. And we wanted to know if the value that was outstanding. Now I put all the fields that I want in the order that I want. That's the first thing, but I want to group it by married and I want to find the average of outstanding. Now, in order to do that, I'm going to come up here to totals. Do you see there's little totals over here, the little sum symbol? If I click on that, I want you to notice the options here. Field, table, sort, show, criteria, or just look at those, those options. If I click on totals, do you see there's now a total row? And it allows me to group by things. And we wanted to group by married, but we don't want to group it by outstanding. We want to find the average. Well, let's take this group away. When I click on it, there's a whole bunch of options. What options do we have? Well, these are all the statistics that we could use. So we could find the sum of all the outstanding, or the average, or the min, or the max, or how many there are, as well as the standard deviation and variance. Those are for statistics, the first and the last, and so on. So there are lots of them that we can use. So I want to find the average. The moment I click average, we find the average of the outstanding based on this grouping. Now let's see if we get the same results if I click on run the query. There we go. We've only got two options. If I make this a little bit bigger, you can see average outstanding and those are the same values that we got maybe we wanted to find the average outstanding for the different divisions then all i would do is go back to my design view and i would say hey we want to group it not by married but by division so in this case we if we run the query we can see the average outstanding for the division a's is that amount the average outstanding for division b's is that amount and the average amount outstanding for division c's is that amount so that's how we can group data that is similar and find statistics on each of those groupings. So let's go recreate that other one where we did division and then I would go and say if they were married and I want this to also be grouped so I'm going to keep it grouped and then I want to have the paid twice. Why do I want to do paid twice? Well because I want to find two, two stats on the paid field. The first stat, the total, I'm going to change the grouping. I want to find the min amount paid and I want to find 
the max amount paid for each grouping. So if I run that query, there you can see division A married, that's the min paid and the max paid. For the A's that are not married, that's the min paid and the max paid and so on and so on. So that's how you can create a grouping. So just to recap, you would struggle to see the option there. You must click on totals because if it's not there, you can't see it. You click on totals and that's where you get this total row. And then you can specify what you are grouping by and then which fields you want to find stats are. You change the group bar to the stat that you want. Remember, you must probably save this. Save the query. QRY groupings. There we go. New query saved. For more videos on Access and in this video series, go to our YouTube channel. Click on the subscribe. Click on the like button. We'd really appreciate all the support. Leave a comment. And remember, don't do it the long way. Do it the most the long way.